command and then false set there we go on the binder we are open yeah baby I'm going up and down trying to find the binder and I couldn't find it. And I thought maybe it was my sidebar. Um, so I just got to make sure that I can gut this properly. I've never gutted this before. Hopefully it'll be straightforward. Let's try the hemostat. And see what we got here. There we go. Yeah, this comes off easy. With the help of the hemostat. Perfect. There's my pinning tray. Let's make sure I don't get this thing out of sight of the camera. Alright, click removed. And I already like pre-disassembled all the other pieces, like the um, the tail turner and the cam, because it's a pain in the ass and required putting the thing on the floor and using a hammer. So that's okay. Alright. So, let us get a follower. Alright, so this guy has like side pins, this guy has top pins. Let's find the right size. This guy looks a little small, let's see if I can find something bigger. I think this is too big. This engulfs the whole thing though, but I think it's too big. Let's see. I doubt it. I think I gotta go smaller and use a shim. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's too big. It was a good thought. So it's gotta be this guy. So let's put the key in, let's put in the shim. Nice big shim, there we go. And let's be careful. Sidebar and the, the side pins are in there. I can't tell which is which. What I'm going to do is take these pins out. There's two, four, six, eight. Sorry, two, four, six, eight, nine pins. So this is a nine pin lock. Never cut it this guy, but it's okay. This is maybe for my purple bag. So let's get the sidebar out. There's probably some springs. Okay, there was one spring that fell. The other spring didn't. So we'll hopefully find that spring later. These are the side pins. So let's just leave the key in there and take these pins out. One at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's fix this guy up.
eight, and then nine. All right, I'll put the ninth one above eight. All right, so yeah, I was hoping that leaving the key in there would kind of retain these pins. So that's that. Um, there's got to be a spring that I'm missing that's got to pop out somewhere, unless it popped out and it, oh, there it is. Good. All right. Got to make sure I got all the parts because this is towards my purple belt. So let's take out the key. So you can see how it activates the side, the sliders. Sorry, it's a slider, not sidebar. We, the sliders interact with the sidebar. So let's just get all of these out. And then what we're going to do is just going to put them in order this way. special in the plug that's where the sliders move around that's the sidebar springs on either end let's pull up the tray all right so there's all the pins they may not be in the right orientation I need my glasses but that's okay uh, there's nothing special about those pins oh I gotta do the Bible, the driver pins. I forgot. I knew I was forgetting something, man. Like, holy moly, what's wrong with me? That's okay. Um, you know what I'll do is. Okay. Yeah, because we got the springs too. Yeah, I'm just. this done you know what I'm gonna get my pinning tweezers Jimmy's watching me this is Jimmy Long he makes awesome picks hey everyone look Alex you did it on the walk you're amazing brother that's awesome next picks are on me for free I doubt it but no wishful thinking all right <laughs> Getting my tweezers. Yeah, it took a while just to get that last binder. I thought it was like a problem with the, the slider. Maybe I moved one of the sliders too far. Um, but I'm just talking too much. Just be grateful for the win, Alex, right? Okay, sure, jump out of the door. There we go. Oh yeah, there's some security pins here. That's pretty good. Oh, that one went flying. That looks like a standard pin. I need my glass. Oh, well, I'm wearing glasses. I need like a magnifying glass. Looks like another standard pin. Looks like Pin one is the only security pin, maybe. Yeah, these are all standard pins. Standard heights. Yeah. I'm just gonna speed this up. Oh, there goes a the spring. Standard pin. Different lengths. I'm just going to do like this. And that way. There we go. Oh, it's a little bit of a longer pin to the last one. So that 
could be for like anti bump. And let's see this goes. And I think there's some anti drill pin that popped out. I got the number of springs. I'm just gonna put that one, two, three, four, five. That looks like an anti drill pin that popped out of somewhere. Six, seven. This pin's all gonna come out. They come in through the plug. Yeah, a little staggered. Right, so it's like two rows. There's one more spring in there somewhere, I think. Three, six, eight. I also went flying. This is the first time I opened this lock, 100%. There's a spring in there somewhere, it just doesn't want to come out. Unless it went flying, and then I lost a spring. Let's check in between the cracks. That's okay. The springs are like so tiny. Yeah, there we go. I must have lost a spring. Pins. Oh, here we go. Wow, those springs look weird. We got the little tiny springs there. I guess these springs are like stacked. That is so weird. I guess these springs are for like that last pin. I'm not sure what it's for. I don't think there's springs for the side. Oh, there's springs for the sidebars. Sure. 